Ether, 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 like Ether, a New York anthem. Yeah, New exactly. York sports is back. Yo, I'm watching the game last night. The Word, Knicks, son? Word, son? Yo, son. Up, son? Yo, check it, son. That's I'm watching. my words, son. Yo, it's my words, son. I'm watching the game in Atlanta, B. Say Watch words, the game son. in Atlanta, B. Every time the Knicks scored, B, it was like we was in the garden. Word, son. Yo, they was in the garden deep, B. Yo, B, yo. Are you serious, son? Yo. That's words of my father, God. Yo, go ahead, son. Yo, shout out to Ed Wild. We, shout out we to love Ed Wild, man. Ed Wild, all man. the greatest MC, but well, not all of them. But you know, they pioneered the great great portion. Talking about hip hop. But the Knicks is bad. The Knicks is bad. That's good for bad. And I'm going to talk something about all these so called analysts who downgraded the value of Chauncey Billups being part of this trade. That's throwing trade and throwing history. He ain't no throwing, man. The, man's a, the man went to the. He's a chief. First of all, he, he has a championship. Is he Hall of Famer? That's the X Factor. <laughs> Poop leg, Poop leg, Wayne. Yeah, he is the X Factor. That's the X Factor. Yeah, man. Knicks looking good, man. Looking real they good. finally got Melo. Melo oh, finally got his wife where she needs to be so they can get their reality series man, popping. Man, keeps moving a lot, a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you got the Knicks popping. You know who else popping? The city of brotherly love, even though nobody in brotherly love knows about it. The Philadelphia 76ers. These are my confessions. Yeah. I have yet to watch the whole series. Well, it's like a funeral inside. The Spectrum, excuse me, the Spectrum is dead. <laughs> The Sixers is looking real good right now. They, they, two, two games they didn't even blow the spectrum up. They, they're it's like, sports it's like they dissecting it. Though. Why, why, pain, why do the painful? Why do the painful dissection? Did Rome, did Rome never blow up the Coliseum? The Coliseum was still good. I don't know. Well, anyway, the Sixers is two games over 500. They're looking good. Eager Dollar, who we've been hard on. Back-to-back -back triple back -to -back doubles. Back-to-back triple doubles. He, uh, he is who we thought he was, but he has been playing well. Doug Collins looks like they got them playing some good basketball. The rookie, uh, Evan Turner. What's the rookie, help me. The point, you, the point I don't have anybody. Evan, Evan, Turner, Turner, Evan, Evan Turner, Turner is the rookie. Evan Turner is the rookie. Yeah, they're looking real good, man. We right. just gotta, they just got to – somebody has to have a person. Now, somebody got to show up at Palmer's, show up at some club. Give us some excitement. Let me tell you all something. When AI was in Philly, it was like you could just go to a deli and AI be there with the fan. Right. Seats back, snow on the ground. It was the city was just popping. Anywhere you go, AI shows up, diamonds all over the place. Next thing you know, it's flooded with a thousand. So you saying he got to get banned from Hula Hands in order to become a star? He got to do something. Okay. AI I'm, turned I'm, Friday I'm, I'm into a major motion. Everybody picture. wants a winner. Unless Charlie Sheen. I just had to get a reference to this. Sorry. It's all about winning. It's all about winning. It's all about winning. <laughs> I happen to drink cheetah blood. That's what I, that's my, that's my. <laughs> Every show all over the web, wherever you were watching, got a Charlie Sheen reference, and that was ours. Yeah. But the Sixers is doing well. We had to get them some shine. Again, they're two games over 500. Doug Collins turned the program, he's turning the program around. Right now, they're in the seventh spot. Three games, I think a game and a half behind the Knicks. So, more to follow. But you know what's wrong with the Knicks? They don't fight like they used to. That's what I miss. Right. Right. You know, and, and I think this is a perfect well, time a to go to Yizzo and Ali, who covers the UFC, to bring you that raw fight, that MMA. Football in other countries is soccer. It's not football. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like so how greedy could you really be? Well, how big do you see this thing really getting? Do you think? I know a million millionaires are greedy. That's why a million years and they're billionaires. But I understand what you're saying. But... We will never understand that world of millionaires and millionaires. But try to make it a universal sport like soccer. You run into the issue of, I mean, there's rugby out there. How is football going to translate? Well, is this football. realistic expectation football. or not? The thing about football in comparison to any other sport, that has to be the most detrimental, like not risk-taking type of sport. There's no guaranteed contracts. Right. It's all based on incentives. Any other sport, at least you have better packages of safety, health care, things like that. In football, you have the biggest residual effects of head trauma. People who can't walk, like uh, Campbell, you know, Earl Campbell can't even walk. Oh, Brandon, good. I thought the camera was flying over there. No, it's good. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm on point like the skipper. Brand You're good. Brand Brand so I think, for as far as I know, for, for the NBA, they're claiming, the owners are claiming that they're not making any money. Now, the NFL is the most profitable sport in the United right. States. Yeah, they, they, they just America. get the big, the big contract with the, uh, with the athletic wear and equipment, you know, for right. them to be able to give the exclusive contract to either, what was it, Adidas or Reebok? I don't know. I wouldn't know. Yeah, we wouldn't know that. But, back, yeah, like you said, though, the, the main problem is, though, 
There's no guaranteed contract. It's probably the most brutal sport other than boxing out there. And it's I know they fight for health care. That's the main thing they fight for. And, you know, just more, it's, it, it, they should be compensated a lot more. Like you said, they got they get the biggest TV contracts. Mm -hmm. They get all the biggest advertising. Shortest lifespan. Shortest lifespan, so the players should be cut in on that. So, and I'm hearing that the players are actually Like DMX said, y'all been eating long the enough. We have to stop being out. greedy. You mean the doors being closed? Yeah, I hear that yeah. the actual owners of the teams are the ones that stand to gain money and they control what the players are able to do. Sandy is cueing us to wrap up. Well, it's been like that, you know. And, and <laughs> Cut that clip, Sandy. You know? But, uh,.